Welcome to the Scanbot SDK channel. Today we're going to create a simple Flutter app and we're also going to integrate our barcode scanning functionalities into the application. Firstly, create a new project in Android Studio. We will check Kotlin as the Android language and Swift as the iOS language. We uncheck those platforms and keep Android and iOS for now. The project is ready to be run. We just need to wait some seconds for processing until Android Studio is prepared for use. Let's try to run our app on the emulator. All right, so now the app is running. We have an effortless template in Android Studio. We have an application structure and we have text visuals and a floating action button. Actually, we're gonna remove the floating action button. We replace text with outline button and create the start scanner function. As a child, we will use a constant text scan barcode. We will need to implement the start scanner function first, and we will replace our increment counter function with start scanner. We can delete this as we don't need it. As we will implement it later, I will just leave a to do here. Go to our documentation and click on Barcode Scanner SDK and select Flutter. The first step that you need to do in order to have the Scanbot SDK in your project is to add a dependency of the barcode scanner. So we copy this to your pubspec.yaml file. Go to the dependencies section and paste for formatting and it is now ready to be used. The next step is the installation of the packages, the flutter pub get command. Go to terminal section and now the functions are resolving the dependencies of the barcode SDK scanner. Meanwhile, we can go further into the integration guide. For Android, it is also required to check if the Kotlin version is up to date and also add some packaging options if they still need to be added. One of the most important things we must do is permit camera access. We go to the Android file, go to the app, and then main. There you open the manifest. We need to add it outside of the application section, and now my app can use the camera. Also, the Flutter Scanbot SDK requires min SDK 21, so I have to define this manually. On default configuration, we find the min SDK version and need to specify 21 instead of flutter.min SDK version. Let's continue with the implementation. We need to do the same for Android, but for iOS to permit access to the camera. For that, I need to add NS camera usage description property in my info.plist file. And there, at the button, you can add the camera usage permission here. We are done with this part, so let's go to the initialization part. You might already know that you need the license key to access the SDK, so please go to our website and get our free trial license. You can also get a free proof of concept for 30 days there. However, we will run the app without any license in this tutorial. You can access the SDK for 60 seconds without introducing the license key. First need to initialize our SDK and run the command scanbot barcode SDK. The recommended way to do it is through the application call. So it should be initialized on the first run of the app. For that, we will transform my app class to the stuffle widget. Unfortunately, this is not the default. So we will use my app stateful for that. And I will copy and paste the feature of the widget that I had by default. I also need to implement the code in the main class to my app stateful. Now my app has a state, and in the init state, I can initialize the scanbot SDK. I have to copy and paste it from here. Now we can see the import library and the code to initialize it as well. I don't need any storage space or a license key, so we left an empty string here. Finally, the SDK is ready to use. Let's move on through the documentation. You can quickly run a code to check the license in production apps. Please use this function to check the current state of the license. The SDK must be initialized. Let's move on to the barcode scanner feature. We're going to use the ready to use UI components, so let's get straight to it. To run the barcode scanner feature, we need to add the start.barcodescanner function. 
we copy and paste the code below the start scanner function and we import the dependencies. Here we add a sync modifier. Please notice that our barcode scanner can, for now, only scan code 128 and the data matrix code. Actually, it should already work, so let's try to run it. We need to rebuild the application and take a look at our emulator. Let's quickly change the text and wait until the app is built. We see our app running. The Scanbot SDK is initialized. Let's click on Scan Barcode. We grant the camera permission to start scanning. As soon as we point to the correct barcode, in this case, we point out the data matrix and it scans, it works. However, I would like to display the result of the scanning as now it is not visible. I will copy this and extract the method show result. For now, it will always return hello scanbot. We already have the scanning result here. So I will take the barcode item and assign them to the variable I will be interested in first. So then, just for simplicity, I will put a barcode item filled in my state and assign it here. Coming to my scanned barcode, I will put in a variable and then in my show result method, I will quickly check if the scanbot barcode is null. I should process my scanned barcode. I am interested in showing text in the barcode format. I will assign the barcode text and format to variables. And now I can return a text containing barcode format and barcode text. Another important thing we need to do is call set state. And actually, we use a variable inside this call. Now we can run our emulator and see what happens. Now the app is running, click on the scan barcode button and we see that it scans it. So, the app found the correct barcode and the data result of the data matrix, which is ScanBot. Now, we can run the same app in the iPod Touch simulator. Let's see if it works. All right, we see our app running in our iPod Touch simulator. It looks the same as in Android. As you might know, we cannot showcase it here, but it looks the same and presents the same text box we wanted. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching our tutorial video on integrating our barcode scanner. Bye for now.